guys, what is up? It's our artist movie here with another super super exciting tutorial. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to color grade your footage using Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now, when I say Adobe Premiere Pro CC, it is literally Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So, for example, if you're like, Tara Ars, you're a liar. There is no plugin like this in my Premiere Pro. You're a liar. And I will be like, uh, what version of Premiere Pro you have? It's Premiere Pro CS4. Dear God, why you sent this man to me? He's such a burden. He's such a burden. Why this temptation? Why? 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 So we are going to be learning how to color grade only using Adobe Premiere Pro CC without third-party plugin, but you will need the newest version of Premiere Pro CC. Because in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to color grade your footage using Lumetri Color plugin, which is a plugin inside Premiere Pro, but it is only on Premiere Pro CC, the newest one. So, after you got all that, let's just jump it into the tutorial. Eh? Eh? <laughs> okay. Alrighty guys, so here we are inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Why Adobe Premiere Pro CC, you might ask? Well, because um, the plugin, which is called the Lumetri Color, is only available in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So if you are in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, I'm sorry that you cannot follow the tutorial. So, uh, yeah, make sure you, uh, you know, upgrade it to Adobe Premiere Pro CC so we can just start the tutorial. Alright, so, uh, as you can see here, this is before, after, before, after. So as you can see here, um, there is a nice separation be between the uh, foreground and the background and uh, all right uh, it's actually gonna be a pretty easy um, tutorial and uh, let's just get get started so uh, go to new item create a new adjustment layer for me just okay and put it above all of the footages and then we just gonna remove it just a little bit for now <laughs> all right so um, uh, next you go to effects tab and then go to video effects and then go to color correction folder and then you will find Lumetri color and click and drag it to adjustment layer what is adjustment layer Le adjustment layer if you're a newbie by the way it's like a, a uh, just imagine it like a see-through plastic so instead you are uh, you know for example there's a uh, four footage here and you want all of this four footage to be uh, you know in the same uh, color grading you don't have to like uh, color grade uh, uh, one by one and or just copy and paste it one by one uh, all you get all you're gonna do is create an adjustment layer and then uh, above all of uh, the footages and then you will you know color grade it all of the uh, frame uh, below it I hope you understand that I'm sorry for my bad English by the way <laughs> all right so just uh, drag it into the adjustment layer and boom there you go Lumetri color and then first of all of course before we color grade the footage we have to color correct it don't worry uh, Lumetri color has this amazing basic correction which we, with a lot of uh, tools here so we will get into that but be before that we're gonna go to the creative and then l go to look and then uh, uh, just click the none here and then for me I'm gonna be using the Kodak 5205 Fuji by Adobe so click that uh, so we are going to color grade with uh, this Kodak look so it's like a uh, it's like uh, this footage is printed on the real Kodak uh, film. So it's just more like a film look. As you can see here, it's more like a teal and orange look uh, from the from the start. So it's really good and I, I, I'm I loving it. <laughs> By the way, for the footage here, it's a free Cinema Raw uh, DNG from a Blackmagic Cinema Camera. You can download it. Uh, you know from the black magic forum you can search it on Google the link is gonna be in the in the description if you want if you want to download it it's free but of course if you want to uh, shoot some footage yourself well there you go <laughs> all right so we just close we're just gonna close this creative tab and then we're gonna go to basic correction to start color correcting our footage so for me I'm just go with the highlights shadow whites and blacks for the highlights I'm just gonna punch it down like so until there is no blown out white or highlights and then for the shadow I'm just gonna punch it up not too much 
probably like so. By the way, this technique won't work for every footage. For example, if you're using DSLR, Canon DSLR, for example, I know 5D footage, for example, 5D footage because I, I've i shot with 5, 5D Mark II. I have that camera. I used to use 5D Mark II. It won't work, believe me, because when you try to uh, basically uh, put the sh shadows up like this, it will show you probably a lot of noise. So make sure you know your camera before you color grade it. <laughs> Uh, uh, by the way, my uh, now my camera is uh, Sony A7S. Uh, if you uh, if you own Sony A7S, probably it will work because Sony A7 Sony A7S is is not just like a high ISO camera. It's a if it's a noise free camera. So <laughs> it's not about high ISO. It's a noise free camera. I I don't know why people always say oh A7S uh, is, is is high ISO. And it's not not about high ISO guys. It's all about noise free until 80,000 um, ISO for me by the way I, I see no noise only grain and it's like a film grain it's so filmic it makes it just even more filmic uh, by the way let's just back into the tutorial <laughs> so uh, again uh, this this technique doesn't work so for uh, f uh, probably lots of footage if you are on uh, DSLR so for the whites I'm just gonna punch it up because we already punched it down the highlights we're gonna punch up the the whites. So basically, this is the technique that uh, I usually use uh, for the blacks. By the way, I'm just gonna punch it down. Uh, this is the technique that I always use uh, to edit my raw files from uh, my photos, usually. So, and this is the Cinema DNG raw, so it's practically the same. So, uh, if you are on DSLR, by the way, don't do this instead. Instead, just play with you know usual contrast like whites and blacks you know but don't push the shadow up like this probably it, probably possibly it will screw your images <laughs> so don't do that I think this is fine so for the color I don't want to uh, punch the saturation up because it's already fine for me uh, so we're gonna close this and then uh, by the way, if you're asking why I use this codec, well, you will see it later. I will I will explain it later. You will see it later. By the way, uh, on the creative tab here, you will see vibrance and saturation. Vibrance is uh, to make the uh, all the shadowy part more vibrant, you know, more saturated. While saturation is uh, to make all the uh, highlighted area uh, more saturated. So it's two different thing, but both are good if you want it. And if you are a fan of a uh, film look, you know, that kind of faded film look, uh, Lumetri look, a uh, Lumetri color, I'm sorry, also has it. So boom, you can play with it also. But I, I, I'm not gonna use it for this footage. Uh, and again, um, color grinning is all about the mood of your movie. So you cannot just watch this tutorial and just apply it to your movie. You have to understand the mood of your movie first and blah, blah, blah. But hopefully uh, you can learn something from this tutorial. All right, so curves. Now we are going to the curves tab and you will see these curves. If you are a newbie and don't know what this means, well, first of all, we're going to create uh, three dots here. Uh, why? Because uh, the upside area here represent the uh, highlight. And the downside area here represent the uh, shadow, shadowy area, and the middle is of course the midtone. And uh, you can actually change uh, in a single, you know, it says RGB, red, green, blue. But uh, for now, just all of the contrast because we are going to play with the contrast here. Put it down. As you can see here, the shadowy area is gonna have a darker image and we'll see Ooh, too much not too much there you go and then for the highlight area actually i already like it so we're just gonna leave leave it be there you go just a little bit just a little punch on the shadow area and then uh down here what i love about this is a uh, hue saturation curve is uh you can click on all of this you know color and then in this color wheel as you can see here this is actually <laughs> you can change the color of each color <laughs> so you can change one color to another color by for example this is like a like a dark blue you can change it to light blue and so all the dark blue 
color on these images will be light blue or you can desaturate it or saturate it now for this video i would like to saturate it, the blue color just a little bit because uh with the kodak with the kodak um look that we already applied in the creative tab um it actually made the uh blackboard here a little bit bluish so i'm just gonna punch the blue just a little bit and for the red uh one here for the for her dress as you can see here if you put it down boom desaturate the color if you put it up it will saturate it just a little bit for me because i want to separate uh, her from uh, the background just a little bit a little bit more and then we are done with the curves tab we're gonna go to the color wheels tab and in this uh, color wheels, we have three color wheels. We have shadows, midtones, and highlights. For the highlights, I'm just gonna give it just a warm color, a little bit to the orangey color. And then for the shadows, we are going to put it on the bluish area until, as you can see here, the uh, black uh, board here will, you know, have some a little bit bluish color. As you can see here, boom, there you go. A little bit bluish and more orangey on the highlight area so uh, it's like a the count uh, you know the uh quantum uh, what camper uh, i forget the language <laughs> basically if you put it on this side and then for the shadow you're gonna push it on you know this side so it's like the exact opposite <laughs> and then probably a little bit yellow here and also for probably for the mid-tones a little bit yellow as you can see here it's kind of dull on the mids and boom there you go by the way for the mid-tone you can also play it for example if you want this to be like in zombie scene probably you can go to the green side here as you can see here it's kind of greenish and it gives a little bit like woo, like horror side <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh, or you can just go with uh, magenta probably or to the bluish side here creating a very cold look well just play with it and make sure it uh, really match the mood on your film that is the most important thing by the way and boom there you go probably we're gonna go back to basic correction here and then play with the blacks a little bit oops not too much but not too much let's say shadow there you go all right that's it guys and uh, i think we are done here <laughs> so that's it that's how i that's how i color grade my footage guys i hope you find this tutorial useful and boom there you go before oh i'm sorry <laughs> before after before after there you go all right so uh uh back to this uh, look why am i using this color if we are not using this as you can see here none boom the color are, are going everywhere so when you try to for example change the shadow color to blue it will make everything uh, blue but if we are using this uh kodak look as the starting point we only uh you know affecting if you uh, put the shadow down it, it will only affect the shadow there you go very nice nice look i love it so um this works also for the second scene for me by the way but for the third scene i find it a little bit overblown just a little bit uh compare it compared to uh these two scenes so for me i'm just gonna control k on this adjustment layer to cut it to split the layer and then for this scene this scene right here this one uh, I think it's, it's a little bit too bright, so go back to basic correction for this scene. By the way, um, just gonna I'm just gonna put the whites down. As you see here, put it down so it it looks good. As you can see here, boom, done. Before, after, before, after, boom. <laughs> and for this one, ooh, as you can see here, uh kind of creating a weird um shape there so control k again split it for this one we're gonna play i think it's the highlight let's see yep there you go boom done 
and then probably play with the whites oops nope should we area down a little bit too there you go boom all right guys so that's it that's how you color grade your footage using only adobe premiere pro cc and a plugin called lumetri color which is a a very very good plugin very good i'm gonna tell you again very very good plugin <laughs> no need third party plugin anymore to uh, color grade for me inside premiere pro because lumetri color already uh you know very good <laughs> all right guys so thank you for watching back to the studio <laughs> Alrighty guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful and also thank you for liking, subscribing and sharing this video and uh, subscribe for more videos and tutorials every week, hopefully, if I'm not busy, okay? Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna play some games uh, because uh, lately I really fell in love with this one game. I don't know what that is. It's actually an old game. It's a uh, story of season. Have heard of it? Um, it's on uh, Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> God damn, playing. Because uh, I don't know. In this uh, next gen era, all the games are all about graphics. I don't care about graphics, man. Just like movies. Movies with good visual effects, but with bad stories are bad movies! <laughs> I don't care about graphics. I care about story and gameplay. Why are we talking about game here? And you shouldn't be here. Why are you still here? Why? And why am I here? I'm gonna go for it. Ciao. Really? <laughs>